G'day Marshmallows and welcome back to the Coco Couch. We are watching Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. The last movie I really, really enjoyed. I think it was very mature, it was a little bit darker, and to me it did feel like Harry Potter's um, coming of age sort of um, film. I just feel like it really encapsulated his transition from childhood into his teenage years. It just felt far more mature and he went through so much growth. From what I've heard, this movie is kind of the turning point in the series in terms of um, it really does define a lot of what happens in the rest of the series. People have said that in the comments and it's got me so excited to see what happens in this movie. Just a little reminder, these are all up on Patreon as well as all the other movies I'm doing, including the Friends TV show reactions. So if you do want to watch the movies with me, you're more than welcome to join Patreon. I'm just super excited to get into it. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Once again, the intro is a lot darker this time. Oh, God. gosh. Hello. <laughs> Mate, this one's so dark I can barely see that scene. Oh. Right, so is this place normally deserted? Oh no. Who does that sound like, huh? I will not disappoint you. Dude, you need to leave. We'll gather our own ah, cockroach. shite. Amy tells me the old muggle caretaker standing just outside the door. Bro, leave. I found oh, a shit. Oh, damn it. Bad dream. Wake up, Ronald. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> that was such an aggressive way to wake up. Works with me. Strapping young lad must be Cedric, am I right? Robert Patterson? <laughs> He's so young. Pretty funny, he just jumped out of a tree. <laughs> that isn't just any man kill boot, mate. It's a port key. Time to go! A port key? Hurry! Free! <laughs> <laughs> right, so it's another thing that transports people. <laughs> that was so cool watching the entire land just form around them. <laughs> I bet that cleared your sinuses. That looked pretty funny. <laughs> Welcome to the Quidditch World Cup. The Quidditch World Cup? I think once Harry graduates, he could probably sign up. But someone told me that Cedric was the Hufflepuff seeker in the last movie. What? Never be surprised, Harry. <laughs> Feet off the table. Feet off the table. <laughs> I love the twins. I love magic. Yeah, I guess he's still kind of fresh to it, isn't he? They've grown up around it. That's cool. Well, put it this way. Oh, no. If it rains, you'll be the first to know. Why is he such a tool? Don't boost, Draco. <laughs> There's no need with these people. Mate, I really don't like that family. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> the flag said top of the morning. <laughs> Who's that? This is the best seeker in the world. It still fascinates me that they've been able to keep their entire, like, what do you call them, a race or species? I don't know. A, a secret, right? It's crazy to me. We get out of here. Now. Why? Get back to the pocket, everybody, and stick together. Whoa, if that isn't symbolic, far out. Oh, poor Harry. Oh, jeez, dude, no! Oh, good lord. What was the point of that? Now, who's this guy? Harry. Oh, shoot. Mate, you gotta get yourself out. I thought we lost you, mate. What the heck? You've been discovered at the scene of the crime. They're just kids. What crime? I didn't see his face. Because he was the same guy at the start, right? That was who I'm assuming was Voldemort. Uh, on second thought, just the jewels. That's where I'll get it from. Just the jewels. Oh, uh, that's right. They're not. They're poor, aren't they? Uh, what? Thank you. Oh shoot! We got a love interest. <laughs> That's awesome. That's like the most extra version of Santa. I... Uh, what? That's a funky looking ship. 
<laughs> and home to some very special guests as well. <laughs> so, Hogwarts. I love the way he runs. The host a legendary event, Triwizard Tournament. Three schools for a series of magical contests. A single student is selected to compete. You stand alone. Okay. Contests are not for the faint-hearted. Mate, I feel like nothing's for the faint of heart in Hogwarts. <laughs> Madam Maxine. <laughs> oh my goodness. What are they doing? Bloody hell. Oh gosh. I guess they are teenagers, right? Sons of Dumbstrang. Oh, here we go. The boys. Oh, gee. <laughs> no thanks. Okay, so they can break dance. Do the kids at Hogwarts get to do something cool? Eternal glory. Three extremely dangerous tasks. Oh, gee. What's with the eye? <laughs> what was that about? It's mad eye moody. He's supposed to be mad as a hatter though these days. Well, so he's a little bit unhinged, but he's super powerful. Hey, dear old friend, thanks for coming. Oh, goodness. Whiskey. The ministry has concluded that for their own safety, a student under the age of 17 be allowed to put forth their name for the Triwizard Tournament. Isn't that pretty much most students since they graduate? Yes! Damn. <laughs> Harry's too young then, right? Because I was expecting him to join up just because he's the main character, you know? The Goblet of Fire. Ah. Uh, Triwizard Tournament has begun. That's insane. Like, we did um games like that in, like, youth group and stuff like that in camps, but damn, there's stakes in it. Like, you could die, apparently? <laughs> oh, who's this guy? Oh, he's gonna mess with it, is he? I'm here because Dumbledore asked me. End of story. Goodbye, the end. <laughs> Moody fits his character well. How many unforgivable curses there are. Three, sir. The use of any one of them will we'll earn you a one-way ticket to Azkaban. Oh, gee. You need to know what you're up against. You need to be prepared. Do chill. Weasley. Yes. <laughs> the Imperious Curse. Oh, yeah. Ew. Oh, little beauty. Oh, no, I hate stuff like that. Ugh. Imperio. Uh. Dude, don't make it bigger. Don't worry. It's completely harmless. <laughs> Oh, I can't with that. She's lethal. <laughs> no! What are you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, if anyone deserves it, it's Draco. Jump out the window. Drown herself. Excuse me? Whoa. Don't abuse it. Long bottom, is it? Oh, Neville. Oh, no. It's the Cruciatus curse. Correct! Correct! Crucio! Hey, what's he doing to it? Dude, that's cruel. Stop it! Can't you see us bothering him? Stop it! Bruh. Perhaps you could give us the last unforgivable curse, Miss Granger. Oh, Hermione. <laughs> Only one person is known to have survived it. What the heck was that? That poor creature that he just abused for a demonstration? I'm not I'm not even a Hufflepuff and I'm like, dude, what the heck was that? <laughs> Some. All right. We'll have a cup of tea. I want to show you something. At least that was like half an apology. <laughs> I tell you what though, the start of this movie feels really mysterious, but the stakes feel really high. Come on, Robert. Come on, Batman. This is an age line. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, it worked. Careful. Oh, no, of course. <laughs> You said. Oh no. I guess stuff like that would happen all the time in the wizarding world, right? <laughs> I'm above all this. I'm just going to read my book. Oh. Okay. There's a bit of a age gap there, but I guess in this universe it's not a big deal. <laughs> Another moment you've all been waiting for. Yes. Oh yes, Dumbledore. Create atmosphere. <laughs> this is such a cool concept. I love it. <laughs> the Dumbstead champion is the crop. Yeah. Yep, makes sense. I spent so much time on him. Such a stoic school. Fleur 
have Delacour. Makes sense. Otherwise, they wouldn't have showed us these characters earlier. Cedric Diggory. Yeah. I guess that leaves Harry out then, right? Since it's just the three. This chalice of champions. The Triwizard Cup. Whoa. Oi, that looks so cool. Ah, Snape. Hey. What the flame be doing? <laughs> oh no. Okay. Harry Potter. Oh my gosh. Harry Potter. Come on. <laughs> yeah, just sit back down. Ron? Chill. Oh gosh. It's not his fault. <laughs> He's a cheat. Please say something, Harry. Don't be silent. At least she could po she could tell. It looked like McGonagall could tell. Protest! Harry, you put your name in the cover of the fire. Bro! You're absolutely sure? Yes, yes, sir. Magic way beyond the talents of a fourth year. The rules are absolute. The Goblet of Fire constitutes a binding magical contract. That's it? He has to compete? <laughs> a Triwizard's champion. Oh, that's so cool that he can't even bail. <laughs> I love this. This is so cool. Of course, Harry Potter's involved and he isn't even meant to be. <laughs> this is just going to make the rest of the movie that much more interesting. Mate, Dumbledore's reaction though. I know it came off really aggressive, but it felt like fear to me. Like fear for Harry's life. If we are to truly discover the meaning of these events, let them unfold. Mm. Do nothing. Offer him up as bait. I agree. With Severus. And again. Excuse me? What's he doing? What's that about? Oh, it's like a memory that he just put in that bowl. <laughs> I love that McGonagall was so protective, though. Might have let your best friend know, though. I didn't ask for this to happen, Ron. Not always like Harry Potter's stupid friend. Oh, gosh, dude. I don't want eternal glory. I just want to be... Yeah, believe your okay. friend. For a guy that feels betrayed, he's being very hypocritical, right? Piss off. What the heck? Do you think it was the trauma of your past that made you so keen to enter such a dangerous tournament? They're going with that narrative. Isn't it more interesting, though, to go with the fact that he didn't want to? I feel like that's way more interesting for headlines. Oh, look at this. All the color is like, God. I love how people talk about in the comments how much darker these movies get, but it gets darker literally. Harry, I couldn't risk sending Hedwig. Oh, it's from Sirius. Meet me in the Gryffindor common room at one o'clock. It's so sad that he just got... Sirius just came out of prison to be his godfather and he can barely see him because he's still wanted. Sirius. What? I thought he was going to be there in person. But who was the third man in the room? Voldemort was giving him a job today. He wanted... me. Oh. I mean, it was only a dream, right? It's just a dream. Death Eaters at the World Cup, your name rising from that goblin. These are not just coincidences. Yeah, someone bad wanted him to participate. What? Who says I was talking to anyone? I heard voices. Practicing for your next interview, I expect. Jeez, jealous, isn't he? That's right. When he looked in the mirror in the first movie, all he wanted was glory, wasn't it? That's why he's so jealous. Ron, look inward, buddy. Stop blaming everyone else. Oh boy, here we go. That Seamus told him that Dean was told by Pavati that Hagrid's <laughs> looking for you. Mate, it's convoluted. Wait, you can't even tell him yourself? Please don't ask me to say it again. Hagrid's looking for you. Well, you can tell Ronald. I'm not an owl! You want to say that to Ron? Ron, what the heck, mate? <laughs> Harry's not the one doing it. I hate how mad everyone is at Harry. It's in situations like this when you need your friends close. I thought perhaps you wanted to come here. Oh, perhaps you have forgotten me. <laughs> You're joking. Come on, Harry. These are seriously misunderstood creatures. Damn. I have to admit, that horn tail is a right nasty piece of work. Well, yeah. <laughs> didn't Ron tell you that? No, he didn't. Yeah. Harry's being completely honest, but his friends are the ones keeping secrets from him. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> After everything Harry's done for the school, Dragons. Are you serious? Ah. Listen, about the badges, I've asked them not to wear them. Don't worry about it. You're still laughing with your friends, mate. <laughs> I don't think you're going to last 10 minutes in this tournament. 
Lots of people jumping out of trees in this movie. I don't give a damn what your father thinks, Malfoy. Nah. <laughs> and you're just pathetic. Yes. Oh no, you don't, Sonny. <laughs> oh come on. Is that a is that a student? <laughs> is that a student? Oh. Uh. <laughs> no. He just put Draco in his mate's pants. <laughs> Never use transfiguration as a punishment. Why not? He's not really teaching material, but I gotta say, that was very satisfying. <laughs> Gee. Wouldn't even bother telling you what's in there. What are you going to do about your dragon? I hope this guy really helps Harry. They'll have a strategy. What are your strengths? Yeah, mate. Well, I can fly. I mean, I'm a fair flyer. Better than fair, the way I heard it. But I'm not allowed a broom. You're allowed a one. What does that mean? What, he can use a spell to make himself fly? How are you feeling? After that, you just have to... Battle a dragon. <laughs> Young love. Ah. Oh, they're selecting their dragons. That's cool. Swedish short snout. The Hungarian horn tail. That sounds dangerous. Your objective is simple. Collect the egg. That's it? Contains a clue without which you cannot hope to proceed to the next task. Very well. Obviously not an easy task, but very simple. And now our fourth and final contestant. Oh, so they all made it? I was expecting like each level for one student to be eliminated, you know? So how do you lose? Do you just die? Is that how you lose this? <laughs> Harry! <laughs> Do something, Harry! Hell yeah, come on, Harry. <laughs> yeah, see, Ron, you want him to do well. <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> Gosh! Your broom, bro! Jump on! <laughs> Thank God. Okay, how are you gonna stop this thing though? Um, <laughs> Harry? There he is. Oh, <laughs> Marty was so happy. Come on, mate. Do you want me to open it? Yeah! <laughs> yes, indulge. <laughs> wow, that was anticlimactic. The bloody hell was that? Oh, shush. That <laughs> face looked like he was sorry. You have to be barking mad to put your own name in the goblet of fire. Come on, have you? Too long enough. Everyone was saying it behind your back. Yeah, but they're mm. not his friends, Harry. Mm -hmm. uh, Ron. At least I warned you about the dragons. That Seamus told me that Bavardi told Dean that Hagrid was looking for you. It was, it was really me all along. Mm. Look, as long as you're on his side now, that's what matters. Mm. Always. <laughs> I know, right? Terrible communication. <laughs> but then again, they made up just like that. Hi, Harry. <laughs> yeah, right. He's a celebrity now, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, Harry! The Riz! The Yule Ball has been a tradition of the Triwizard Tournament. There's a ball? Yule Ball is first and foremost a dance. Yeah. We we did dancing, for like ballroom dancing for one week in school and I loved it. I will not have you in the course of a single evening behaving like a babbling, bumbling band of baboons. <laughs> The delivery. Mr. Weasley. Yes. Will you Come join on. me, please? Show us how good you are at dancing, mate, since you're all talk. My waist. And extend your arm. One, two, three. One, two, three. What? It's a pleasure to dance with Miss McGonagall. <laughs> Come on, Neville. Be brave. Yes, Neville. Come on. Gryffindor for the win. Why do they have to travel in packs? If you can't get a date, you can. I think I take the dragon right now. 
Dude, a bunch of these girls are looking at you and smiling. You're just looking at the ones that, are, that don't like you. <laughs> Joe was a tiny little fella, my dad. I could pick him up at the age of six with one hand and put him up in the dresser. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. And then he died just when I started school. Dude, she was about to kiss you. <laughs> oh my gosh, Snape. Where am I, Nate? Yes. Come with my life. Snape, dude, you can't just hit students. I'd like to shop alone. Forget it, it's just sad. I won't be going alone because believe it or not, someone's asked me. No, Ron, really, dude? That's how you were going to ask her? Is by humiliating her? And I said yes. God. Damn, dude. Look, we've just got to grit our teeth and do it. <laughs> He's sick it's of it. Money. Here we go. <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look, I totally understand Snape's impatience with them. <laughs> Watch yourself in stairs. It's a bit icy at the top. Okay. Oh, she's Irish. Come on, dude. Ask her. Come on. Come on, mate. I just if maybe you want to go to the ball with me. Come on. Yes. I'm sorry, but someone's already asked me. Oh, poor Harry, man. I really am. Sorry. Yeah, she wanted to go with you. She's done the right thing. She hasn't bailed from the other guys. Hi, Harry. Always looking at That's your plan B, really. Oh, look how cute the little ones look. <laughs> They're so tiny. Oh, poor Ron, man. Should have asked Hermione. Hermione, of course. I would have taken her myself if she wasn't so bloody proud. Bro, it's you that's proud. Oh, I feel sorry for her. I'm stuck with Ron. Session, please. She went with Cedric. Hermione! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. She knows she looks good. Yeah, of course this guy asked her. Yeah, at least she's living her best life at the moment, despite probably wanting to be with Ron, right? Hermione Granger with Victor Crumb. Yeah, mate, you're jealous. You know, for a bunch of uh, Gryffindors, they're not being very brave in this movie. Ah, <laughs> oh, what a pair. I love her every- <gasps> Neville with Ginny. Oh, that's cute. It was the books that had him going to the library. Oh, these poor girls, man. Stuck with Harry and Ron. Do you care to join us? No. would not care to join you and Victor. You're fraternizing with the enemy. The enemy? Come on, Hermione. Ah, oh, man, I wanted her to say something so bad. From what I've been told, Ron really got destroyed in these movies compared to the books, so it's hard to judge him right now. Next time there's a ball, pluck up the courage and ask me before somebody else does, and not as a last resort. Yes. And off to bed, both of you. Damn. They get scary when they get older. Ron, you Shut up, Ron. Oh. Poor Hermione. Oh man, she had like the best evening, but then it gets ruined because the guy she actually likes treats her like, like terribly. Oh, the answers. <laughs> Hagrid. Harry, at last. Oh, gee. That was creepy. It was like it was Harry there this time, not the, the muggle. Yeah, Neville. Congratulations, bro. He deserves it. He's been picked on for so many of these movies. I suppose Victor's already figured it out. Actually, we don't really talk at all. Victor's more of a physical being. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I realize I never really thanked you properly for tipping me off about those dragons. I'm sure you would have done the same for me. Exactly. Come on. You know the prefect's bathroom on the fifth floor? It's not a bad place for a bar. Huh? <laughs> That's a very cryptic clue. I like it. Oh, I was not expecting a bath scene in any of these movies. <laughs> oh, open it in the water. I tried putting it in the water if I were you. There you go, Moaning Myrtle. <laughs> Said to me. <laughs> yeah, a little bit personal. Come seek us where our voices recover what we do. Damn. Sirens, is it? Myrtle. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Whoa. Myrtle. Professor McGonagall would like to see you in her office. Not you, Potter, just Weasley and Granger. Longbottom! 
Why don't you help Potter put his books back? Oh, okay. He's got a plan in mind. Obviously, is never gonna help him. In Nepal, who's growing gravity-resistant trees? Neville, no offense, but I really don't care. Oh. It will allow me to breathe underwater for an hour. Then great. But you can always use gillyweed. There you go. Of course, Neville was able to help. You're sure about this, Neville? Absolutely. For an hour. Most likely. Right side better than Ron and Hermione. You only had a limited amount of time, mate. It's the best plan. I have but one hour to do so, and one hour only. Mm. No oh, magic will save I feel like anything he has to eat that has magical properties is always going to taste terrible for some reason. <laughs> Gee. Oh, he's got gills. Oh, that's cool. Oh my god. I've killed Harry Potter. <laughs> Don't worry, buddy. Yeah! <laughs> See, it's fine. You're fine, Neville. All right, so we got to find, what was it? Something that they stole? Is that right? Okay, so it's a treasure hunt. I like it. I don't know how well I'd be able to do a challenge like this. I have a fear of deep open water. <laughs> don't go through the reeds, though. That's scary. Oh, dang. Oh, shoot. So the girl's disqualified? It's interesting to see what the other um, competitors used to do this challenge. I think Harry's is really good, though, because it makes him faster. Nice. Hey, what the heck? What's going on here? Hermione? Oh, and that's Ron. That's why they took the two students. Damn, Cedric. Come on. Hey. But she's my friend, Plymouth. Tell me one. Hey, dude. Oh, oh, it's the guy. Okay, <laughs> makes sense. Wait, but if the girl got disqualified, how is the other girl gonna get like freed? What's he got planned? What the heck are these things? Gosh, are they like baby mer people? Harry, use your wand. Oh, just in time. There you go. Harry. <laughs> That's crazy, because the spell, uh, the, the herbiate had worn off, so he was just suffocating. My little sister. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mercy. <laughs> Run. Attention! <laughs> We've agreed. Reward him second place. Yes. Hell yeah. Come on. That's fair. Well done, boy. Ooh. Your story is one I've heard so many times. Never whole again, are we? Excuse me? Still, life goes on. And here we stand. Yeah, obviously, since he's lived it out. Ooh. What was that about? Excuse me? Was it his licking sort of mannerism? Like the Joker? Mr. Crouch? Is he dead? Here, he did. The tournament will not be cancelled. I will not be seen as a coward. I'm a little skeptical about Mad Eye Moody because he's been very protective of Harry, but he was the last person to see the Ministry guy, right, before he died. Oh man, Dumbledore trying to show Harry stuff. I love it. <laughs> Everything is part of a plan that Dumbledore has. So what is this really? <laughs> All right. Professor. <laughs> Do you just somehow join him <laughs> without anyone knowing? What about Snape? Severus Snape. Well, the council is very much aware. Snape? Snape was indeed a Death Eater. Prior to Lord Voldemort's downfall, turned spy for us. Oh. 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 Remains painful to the Dark Lord. Oh, is Snape a torture of the horror Frank Longbottom in Marty Crouch Jr. Uh Okay. That's the guy from the start, right? Hello, father.
Wait. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. He's doing the licking thing. I had a dream about him. I was in a house, and Voldemort was there. Wormtail was there too, and Mr. Crouch's son. It's something that's happening. You don't think it's actually happening, do you? I think it's unwise for you to linger over these dreams, Harry. Cast them away. It's interesting that whenever Harry asks a teacher, should I worry about this? Every time the teacher's like, no, you shouldn't. <laughs> Hey, that's the same mark that the guy in his dream had. Ooh, maybe Snape is still yes, working sir. for Voldemort. Three drops of this, and you know who himself would spill his darkest secret. Should you ever steal from my personal stores again? So are the other contestants the ones that are stealing stuff? <laughs> It's interesting to see him conducting. I feel like a lot of the way that they cast spells is inspired by conductors and the way they flick the stick, right? Professor Moody placed the Triwizard Cup deep within the maze. First person to touch the cup will be the winner. She's so tall. <laughs> so at any point a contestant wish to withdraw from the task, you'd only send up red sparks with their wand. Okay, that's good. If you're in trouble, you can just get sent for help. You'll find no dragons or creatures of the deep. Instead, you'll face something even more challenging. Oh, shoot. You could just lose yourselves along the way. <laughs> That's even more terrifying. Good luck. My boy. One. <laughs> he keeps doing it too early. <laughs> Dumbledore's so above all this. He's just like, ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> I don't know if I'd be trusting him anymore. I think I have an idea of who he actually could be. Gosh, no thanks, mate. Yeah, I'd choose um, swimming around in the deep over this. Can you not use like any spells or anything to help find it? Careful, Cedric. Oh gosh! <laughs> Run, buddy. Oh, that's an interesting wand, the way it bends. Hey, what was up with his eyes? <laughs> that would be even worse, being in the maze and hearing screams. Oh, so this guy's gone like insane, has he? What happened to her? Careful, Harry. Uh... Hello? Why didn't he hurt him? That's odd. Hey, yo! Fluff. Oh, that's terrifying. Periculum! Oh, hopefully someone can save her. <laughs> Is that the trophy? Oh, get down! Go, Valium! Stop! He's bewitched, Cedric! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chill, Cedric. <laughs> oh boy. Here comes the competitiveness. Gosh, dude. This is like the worst challenge. <laughs> Harry, Harry, this is life and death. Harry! Harry! Come on. We're doctors! Good boy. Come on, Harry, now go, now go. <laughs> you saved him, go. Just be like, what's that? And then run. For a moment there, I thought you, you were gonna let it get me. Some game. Yeah, but Harry has a strong mind. Get the jealous! You saved me, take it! One, two, three! three. <laughs> yeah, nice. Because you just don't know if he was going to die, if he stayed. Uh, where to take them? You okay? Riddle. Like Tom Riddle? This is the place in the dream. Support key. Dude, you shouldn't be here. Bruh. Let's get back to the cup. Yes, you need to leave now. now. Grab the port key. No! Oh, back to the cup. Pick up the cup. <laughs> oh, good lord. What is that? That's Voldemort. He's like a munted baby. Avada Kedavra! No! Cedric! No! <laughs> Bruh. Ew, that is not good soup. Bones of the father. Flesh of the 
servant. I don't like this. <laughs> His whole hand, not like a finger. Of the enemy. Taken. Dude, just a little bit. The Dark Lord shall rise. Oh no, just like that. What the heck? Is this for real? Did they just resurrect Voldemort? <sighs> just like that? Is that, um, what's his name? Something rife? <laughs> oh, these his servants. Oh, these are the guys from the start. I was myself disappointed. The, what? Not one of you tried to find me. Not even you, Lucius. <laughs> Of course, Lucius. I have never renounced the old ways. That is my true mask. Yeah, he's been loyal. <sighs> Damn, we got a winter soldier in this. Such <sighs> a handsome boy. Don't touch him! I'd almost forgotten you were here. The boy who lived. God, this is terrifying. Should I divulge how I truly lost my power? Yes, please monologue like villains do. <laughs> Dear sweet Lily Potter gave her life for her only son. Old magic, things have changed. I can touch you. Oh, God. <laughs> Dude, what's up with his nose? Pick up your one, Potter. Said pick it up. Get up, get up. Mate. You've been taught how to duel, I presume, yes? First. But what? this guy's probably way more powerful than Harry. <laughs> his reflexes are good too. No one will ever again question my power. Get up! God, this guy's terrifying. Come on. Be brave, buddy. Have it your way. <laughs> what? They can do this? Oh, this is awesome. What's happening? When the connection is broken, you must get to the port key. His parents? How are they here? Take my body back to my father. Sweetheart, you're ready. Let go! Get out, get out, get out! No. <laughs> yes! <No. laughs> Suck it! <laughs> oh god, I forgot he was dead. <laughs> Guys, everyone stop! Stop! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, guys, Cedric's dead. He's back. He's back. Voldemort's back. I couldn't leave him. Not that. Oh, I got goosebumps mm. from that. The body must be moved, up. Uh, too many people. Yeah, the whole school's seen it. Oh, he's That's dead. That's my son! This is my boy! Oh, this poor man. My boy! Oh. Ah! I got you. I got you. Oh, not this guy. I oh, I better not be right about this. Him being a bad guy. Far out. I get it now, guys. I get it. This is the turning point of the series. Good lord. He's back, man. He's back. What was he like? Who? The Dark Lord. <sighs> yep. 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 He's his servant. Did you think that miserable oaf would have led you into the woods if I hadn't suggested it? He's been planning the whole thing. Do you think Neville Longbottom, the witless wonder, could have provided you with Gillyweed if I hadn't given him the book that led him straight to it? I thought this whole time he was helping Harry survive. Yep, there it is again. Imagine how he will reward me. Silenced Harry Potter. Oh, thank God, Dumbledore. <laughs> 
Are you out of some moody? Are you? No. Is he in this room? Is he in this room? He's in the box. The one that was moving at the start. Oh, gosh, man. These movies are so good. <laughs> oh, okay. That's an extreme chest. Oh, it's like a giant hole. You all right, Alistair? That's the real one. <laughs> That's horrific. <laughs> yep, there he is. Yep, there it is. <laughs> oh, yeah, but Snape could be a Death Eater, couldn't he? But he didn't turn up, though. He didn't turn up at the graveyard. I think, therefore, you have the right to know exactly how he died. Cedric Diggory was murdered by Lord Voldemort. The Ministry of Magic does not wish me to tell you this. Not to do so, I think, would be an insult to his memory. Yes. It may as well be war times now. And we'll celebrate a boy who was kind and honest, brave and true, right to the very end. That's so tragic, though. He wasn't even supposed to be there. The only reason he got there was because Harry stayed to save him, right? And then they went together. It's like Harry's own loyalty and moral high ground is the fact that he got killed it's so sad i put you in terrible danger this year harry voldemort's wand and mine sort of connected yeah how does that work priori and cantatum you saw your parents that night didn't you no spell can reawaken the dead harry i trust you know that yeah Don't that's harsh we must all face the choice between what is right and what is easy what a challenge remember this you have friends here you're not alone such a brutal reality for this for this school now. Of course they had a right to know about Voldemort. They have to prepare for him now. They live in a world where the most powerful evil wizard could kill all these people. I think we'll ever just have a quiet year at Hogwarts. <laughs> Someone just died, Ron. Everything's going to change now, isn't it? It sure is. You're gonna have to be adults now, basically. Yes. <laughs> It's a shame they can't just all stay together, but I guess they all got their own parents to go back to, except for Harry. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> hey, is that it? It's nuts though. It just felt so morbid. Just for the end to feel like they tried to, they tried to make the movie end on like a slight happy note, but it just feels like so sad. That was an absolutely insane climax to the movie. It just felt like it came so out of left field, you know? Like, it, I don't know, I just feel like... I mean, that's what's so good about the movies, right? Is it's so... It focuses so much on the mystery and then it has payoffs at the end of the movie, right? That you weren't expecting. But I just feel like the payoffs just felt far more, like, world-ending, you know what I mean? Like, in the last movie, you know, you get to see... Um, them go back in time and you get to see all these payoffs for all these little intricate things that were happening. You're like, oh, okay, so the whole time it was Harry and Hermione um, making all these things happen. Where in this movie, you see all these little things happening throughout the movie and I was like, okay, well, like, Moody is being really strange the way he's helping Harry so much. And I was like, oh, I guess he's just a nice guy. But then there was like little subtle hints, like the little licking of his lips and stuff like that. And the ministry guy being really put off by it and then when they went back in time into Dumbledore's memories right he um the father looked at his son right and he was doing the licking of his lips and I was like oh so that's why he was looking at him like that that's why he was so put off by Moody when he did the licking thing and um I, I wasn't really sure whether I was kind of picking up on something that was just kind of not right i don't know but i i was suspecting it but i wasn't sure whether it was right or not i just wanted to see how things were going because i was like why would he help harry so much if he is a bad guy and then to you know for all of this stuff to be orchestrated the entire movie putting his name in the goblet of fire helping him through each of the rounds was all a intricate plan to get him to be vulnerable with in front of lord voldemort and for him to basically come back to life into a physical form that was strong that was just i don't know it was one of those things i just felt like it just hit me like a truck you know just the reality of what was happening i didn't know how to react honestly i was just sitting there going i was just bewildered like i was like he's back that's Voldemort. like what the heck <laughs> and then for cedric to die too there was just too much going on i was like i didn't know how to process it at the time and then, oh, his dad. 
Oh, gosh, man. I definitely... I knew the movies were going dark, but just to go from being in life or death sort of situations to actually having someone die and then for Voldemort to be there and for him to be back in the world, I was like holy shiver me timbers like the fact that it's legit now we're going into the fifth movie and the enemy has returned it's it's going to be way different now like Hermione said things are going to be different now it's like yeah they are um mate I want to talk so much about the last quarter of the movie but I know so much more was there I I can see why people like um, the third movie more than the fourth. From what I've heard, people who really like the third, um, a lot of people who like the third movie are people who are loyal to the books and really they appreciate the third movie more um, because of how accurate it is compared to um, the fourth movie, where apparently a lot of people's favorite movie is the fourth movie because they're people who don't love the books or haven't read the books. I totally get it. I, as someone who hasn't read the books, I can see why the fourth movie is more entertaining. I think it's because it's more exciting in certain bits and there's, it has an easier narrative to follow. Like you've got stages, the different rounds that Harry has to go through and then the return of Voldemort in the end of the movie. I think the climax of the movie definitely makes the movie as a whole feel like it's better than maybe it is. Um, I, I found that I really liked most of the movie and the challenges were really fun to watch and Harry trying to figure everything out. I really just liked the campiness of the mystery of it. Um, you know, it definitely felt like a classic sort of Harry Potter vibe like that I'd felt in the last three movies but then for it to just switch just like that and for Voldemort to return and for someone to die it was just crazy to me um yeah I felt like we got two different sides of the series in one movie you know you got a bit of the first three movies at the start of this movie and you got possibly the the direction that the series is going in in the last section of this movie so it did feel a little split in that sense I can't really compare the two. I think they're both really good for different reasons. Something I was I was a little frustrated with was the way that Ron behaved in this movie. I get that he's a teenager. Like, I totally understand, right? I think I mentioned it in one of the other movies and someone was like, give him a break. And I was like, eh, I mean, there isn't really an excuse for being a douche, but um, <laughs> but I, I get it too. Like, he's a teenager. He did apologize to a degree to Harry and he was more loyal to him. Um, I just want him to sort his his emotions out and figure out his feelings for Hermione and to treat her with more respect because obviously the reason he's treating her poorly is because he likes her right and he's so jealous of anyone who's close to her <laughs> so I hope I hope he figures it out um it's not they're, they're such a good trio they they talk and communicate so much about the thing that they're accomplishing but they don't talk so much about their feelings and how they influence each other as much, which I guess is typical of kids, right? I really liked Neville in this movie. It was really cool to see him at one point get picked on, but then for him to have such a good night with Ginny, <laughs> that was really cute. Um, he seems like an underdog. I think that's why I like him so much. Also, I've been reading a lot of the comments. Um, I did know less I am a Slytherin. I think I gave the wrong impression. I did say that I got the vibe from Slytherin that it was evil, but I, the way I was phrasing it was a bit misconstrued. I, I kind of meant that's how I, I used to feel, but now I understand that every house is is just neutral and it just depends on the individual, right? Whether it's good or bad. I really admire the characters through these movies. I think they're really good at presenting different characters that are noble in each of the houses, like the way that Cedric was a Hufflepuff. We really got to see what Hufflepuff is capable of in a noble character that is determined, hardworking, and loyal. And I think that's why it's so tragic when Cedric dies, because he's the last person that deserved it. He was representing Hogwarts. He did each of the challenges brilliantly. He was doing so well. He deserved to win if Harry Potter wasn't involved, right? And then he dies. It's just, it was so sad. Um, and then of course, we got the three main characters representing um, Gryffindor, which is, you know, typical, right? They're brave and um, courageous and headstrong. It's a shame that there isn't um, a really predominant example of um, Slytherin or Ravenclaw that are noble characters yet. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give a like to help with the algorithm, comment, do all that crazy stuff. I will see you all next time. Stay cozy.